Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Hope you're having a great start to what is going to be a long holiday weekend, but we got to talk about the risk for some strong storms possible today. It's not a slam dunk forecast, I'm going to be honest with you. This is either going to be one of those all or nothing type of setups where we could see a cluster of pretty strong storms move in later today. And where we're watching, I know there are a couple isolated storms trying to bubble up in the mountains now. And again, they'll probably just be scattered across our area for the first part of the day. It's really about this system right here. This is one of those what we call MCSs. That's just a fancy word for a thunderstorm complex. If you want to know the technical term, it's an acronym for mesoscale, which means small scale, not big weather systems, thunderstorm level. Um, convective, which means thunderstorms, the convective current that we see or convection current that forms thunderstorms, and system, which just means it's a thunderstorm complex or a thunderstorm system. And it's up here near Indianapolis. And what I expect to happen later today is it's going to make a right churn and dive down into the Carolinas at some point. Now, whether that churn is there, there, or it does one of these, that's the problem. <laughs> what is that churn going to look like? But that's what we're watching this afternoon. Now, let me stop this real quickly. We'll pause it for a second. I'm going to turn the radar off and I'm going to turn on the severe weather outlook for today. You could see basically where we expect that system to be forming is where it is right now. And don't be surprised if this first one maybe falls apart and a new one forms back here. So if you see this one fall apart, go, whoo, it's over. Watch back in here. There might be another disturbance coming in from the west, which moves in. But you can see all of our area is either in the medium or low risk. And it's all for anticipation of that system or systems coming down from the northwest. Here's tomorrow's outlook. We're still kind of in the medium to low end range. So you get the idea that we're kind of in that track now where these complexes of thunderstorms move down. And then we go into Monday, you see that that threat kind of shifts off because what's going to happen is there's going to be some leftover boundary from the, the first couple of complexes and we're going to see some severe weather there. So let's go back, focus on today first. We'll talk about that in tomorrow's vlog and let's show you the future cast. All right, here we are looking at a future cast with the severe weather outlook in place. So just real quickly, there's a recap of the severe weather outlook. I'm going to turn it off so we can focus on the radar, which is future. We'll go into the midday hours. We'll get into about three o'clock this afternoon. Not a lot going on. So really, you know, the daytime hours looks pretty good. I think we're pretty confident we're going to see some pretty calm weather. But we'll get into the evening hours. This is eight, nine, ten o'clock. There's that complex. So it looks like a new one is going to form back in here. And this will be the interesting thing to watch. Does this come down during the overnight hours, maybe into early Sunday morning? We'll go into the overnight hours and we'll stop this in the morning. And you can see that's 2 a.m. So this goes out only 18 hours, kind of shows you where that system is. So let me loop this. This is an 18 hour future cast and focus on your area of concern, whether you're at the beach, the coast or the Piedmont. Not a lot showing up. And this is the most recent rapid refresh model run. So let's look a little bit further into the future and see what happens. All right. So this go around, we're going to go farther out into the future. We see the first one kind of doesn't really develop. Let me go back. Actually, the data is still loading here. So let me reload this real quickly. We'll load it back up and kind of give you an idea because I think the main thing we're going to watch here, and I'll load this so you'll see it load in real time. We'll let it load real quickly. So I'm importing the data. We'll go back to this morning. And again, you see the clusters of storms. Oh, we jumped ahead way too far there. Let's go a little bit slower there. Um, so then we go into the uh, afternoon hours. So here we go. Here's that system. Again, ah, still loading. Let's give it a second to load and we can show you. All right, so all loaded there. We'll go into the afternoon hours. Stop this around 4 or 5 o'clock. You see some hints that some try to make it into Virginia, maybe into North Carolina. 5, 6 o'clock, maybe some storms make a run at us. And again, this was the older run but goes out further into the future. So this evening, maybe a cluster of storms. This first one is the big question mark. I'll be honest with you. What happens with this thing? It's going to be just a lot of radar watching, but I'm really more concerned about this bigger one back to the northwest. Where is that going? And we go into the early hours of Sunday morning. So this is 6 a.m. You see that system moving into the western Carolinas and then crossing down into the Piedmont. So this could be a situation where we have storms in the morning on Sunday. So that's the one that's what we typically see with these complexes. They kind of go all night and then start to weaken by the middle of the next morning. And then what happens is they leave behind an outflow boundary or what we call a cool pool of air that then can be the focus for storms for the next day, which would be Sunday afternoon. And you can see we go into Sunday. Boy, that's another big cluster of storms developing. So as I said, this is not a slam dunk forecast. This is kind of got to kind of wait to see where the storms fire up and then see where they're going to go. But just a word of caution, if you're out and about today, we're certainly going to see the risk for some storms develop later today. Let me show you the radar real quickly. This is the current 
radar setup. Really focused on that cluster back there. There's a couple developing in the mountains, and then we'll have to see what develops back to the northwest. Other than that, hazy, hot, and humid, very summer-like. I mean, honestly, this pattern reminds me of summer, so not that out of the ordinary. But just be careful out there today. Be safe. Stay weather aware for those pop-up afternoon storms the next couple of days, especially if you're spending time on the lake, camping, or outdoors for an extended period of time.